This film gives a glimpse of the diverse modes of music acquisition in the Hindustani art music tradition, the Rajasthani Manganiyar tradition, and the Azerbaijani Mugam and Ashik traditions. <laughs> In musical families of all three cultures, beginning in infancy, a huge amount is learned via passive exposure to music at home. In the North Indian art music tradition, music is orally transmitted from teacher to student one to one. Oral notation called sargam mediates the transmission process. Great importance is given to technical practice such as scales. It is important for kids to memorize a large repertoire of song compositions. I'm a 
Melodic exercises orient students in tonal space and build vocal agility. Phrase by phrase imitation is central to the learning process. Public performance is encouraged from an early age. Dance, like tabla, is conceptualized and taught with mnemonic syllables. According to Kubernat Misra, his 18-year-old son has learned the entire repertoire. At this stage, teaching imparts only subtle points of nuance and emphasis. In the exclusively hereditary Manganiyar tradition, music is acquired largely by osmosis. Kids learn by singing or playing along with their elders, catching new techniques in real time. Kids make music in informal groups. Songs and melodic riffs trickle down from the older and more experienced kids to the younger and less experienced. After school, still in their uniforms, Manganiyar boys enjoy their music in the desert. (laughs) 
Manganya girls also sing, but never as a vocation, never in public, except at exclusive women's gatherings, at marriages and other festive occasions. Their singing is always communal, never virtuosic. Boys' music making is also usually communal, but individual virtuosity is applauded. Fuck okay.